Well, good morning, everyone. I just wanted to say that I think this is a really wonderful day for the United States and for Bermuda. As you can see, looking through the cameras behind me, is a U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Eagle, one of the finest ships in the entire U.S. fleet. Thank I think sir. I can say that with, uh, without any reservation at all. Uh, it's wonderful that they've come here on a goodwill mission. Uh, they've been to Bermuda in the past. We hope they'll continue to come to Bermuda, but we're really, really happy they're here today. Uh, having said that, I would like to welcome Captain Wes Pulver and the entire crew of the Eagle to the island. Captain Pulver. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for uh, inviting us here. And on behalf of uh, all those in the Coast Guard, entire nation, we're certainly thrilled to be here in Bermuda. Uh, we've had the privilege to be sailing since the 9th of May this year, about 70% of that time actually under sail and only sail uh, with the hard work of cadets and crew, um, and it, in which one of the great ports that we get to see this summer is Hamilton, Bermuda. We thank the, uh, the governor, the, the premier for joining us this morning, consul general and staff for, for getting us here, and I uh, just want to say thanks so much and look forward to having everybody on board this weekend. We are open to tours this evening till 7 p.m. We're open tours tomorrow 10 to 4, and we're open 10 to 7 on, on Monday. So we hope everyone has the chance to come by and, and see the tall ship. Thank you, Captain. Do you have on board as far as cadets? Sorry? What sort of numbers do you have on board? Uh, on board uh, Coast Guard Bark Eagle, we have 80 crew members and 150 cadets on board. Um, our mission is to train the cadets this summer, so uh, take that mission seriously. We have uh, one of our cadets who will speak with you mo momentarily, Lauren Young, one of our upper-class cadets. We have 24. They're in a leadership role. And then the underclass cadets, almost 130 on board. Does the Board of Sail Training in the modern Coast Guard? Well, it, it, sail pa training is very important. It's a... Um, you know, it, it, it's a lot of different things. One, in the Coast Guard, we have to respect the weather, and on, only on tall ship can you really respect the weather. It, it, this vessel was built 77 years ago with the idea of bringing crew members together in the weather. The, uh, it takes a lot of hard teamwork, takes a lot of leadership, and in many cases, it's the first uh, chance for these young men and women to sail. So we put them in, uh, I won't say harm's way, but we put them in the weather. They get cold, they get tired, they get wet, but they learn how to, uh, you know, hopefully overcome the missions of the Coast Guard, because we tend to be cold and tired and wet very often we execute our missions. Any, uh, <laughs> any chance of the Coast Guard uh, downsizing in the near future? Well, the Coast Guard is, um, like all you know, agencies from the government, we're working hard, looking hard for uh, savings. Uh, we've made some small cuts within our uh, personnel allowance, but uh, you know, our mission comes first, and the, uh, our Congress, our administration, they know that. So, uh, so far, I've had phenomenal support from administration and Congress to uh, continue uh, doing all the missions that they've asked us to do. And uh, have you, uh, are you in the process of getting some new Coast Guard vessels? We are. Uh, the Coast Guard's worked very hard the last 10, 15 years, especially post 9-11, to uh, upgrade our fleet. Um, the actually the, the newest vessel I've ever been on was built in 1983, and, and the oldest vessel I've been, in, been on in my Coast Guard career was built in 1933. So our vessels are a little aged, but we've worked real hard recently, and uh, we've been bringing on national security cu cutters, which are going to, those are very large vessels, have the ability to go well offshore and enforce law well outside the United States and on international water, as well as patrol boats and aircraft. We've done very well in the recapitalization. Again, with just great support from the administration, great support from our Congress.